All right, hello from Indy. Do a quick video today on uh, switching over to a uh, to manual disc brakes from power disc brakes. So obviously this car had uh, power disc brakes from the factory. When I repainted everything, I wanted to switch over to uh, to manual disc brakes. I just wanted to get rid of the booster, making the car as light as I can, getting rid of a lot of the junk in it. Um, so the first thing you have to do uh, to switch over is just get the old power steering, master cylinder out, the booster, all that stuff. Just get it off uh, the firewall. And that's pretty self-explanatory. I think you can figure that out. Then when you've got all that off, you'll have this under the dash. Okay, this will be laying, it's still st staying there. And this connects to your master uh, booster through the firewall. Uh, you're not going to need this anymore. So obviously you just take it out. You can save it if you ever go back to, to power brakes. Okay. Hopefully I don't make you all dizzy here walking back and forth. So everything you see here, it was just a kit. And I got it from Dr. Diff. I don't know if it's Diff or Differential. Uh, you'll find him. He sells all kinds of Mopar stuff. Uh, so I got the new booster, uh, the stiffening plate, and this adapter. All that came from him. You'll want the 15 16 bore so you'll have the maximum line pressure. Um, pretty self-explanatory how to, uh, how to install that. And I'll just leave that there for a second so you can look at it if you want. See how that goes. Okay. The next thing you'll need, once you've got all that installed, is you're going to need your manual brake push rod. And I just have an original, <coughs> uh, have an original. <coughs> you may have one laying around. Go to the junkyard, find one, order one online, whatever. But you'll need one of these. Just for reference, because sometimes people just order one of the adjustable ones from Mancini. And just for your reference, to give you an idea of how long you would want it to be, what's this measure from the center? Pardon me. We'll measure from the center of that hole to the end. And it's six and three quarter inches. Okay. So six and three quarter inches from the middle of this hole to that tip. So that'll give you an idea where you'll be if you're using one of those adjustable pieces. Also, you'll want to use your lock. This goes on here, right here. You put that in, then you push that <coughs> into the back of the, uh, the brake booster. Next thing you'll do, we'll just leave that there because we're not going to install it permanently now, is you'll go under your dash Again, I'm sorry if I'm <coughs> moving around too much. All right. So you'll come under the car here, and I hope this is okay. But you'll see right up there, that's the rack, back of the booster. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. All right. So you would have that collar. Push that in there. Okay. Then this bevel on that you can see that's where your brake switch rides and then this hole in the brake is where your bolt goes through okay here's your bolt and that's it you put this through there put this bolt through there put your nut on tighten it down as long as you've put your lock collar on there the only thing you have left to do is just adjust your switch and that's in the owner's manual and you're done that's all you have to do to change, excuse me, from power brakes to manual brakes on these cars. Of course, you'll have to adjust your brake lines and all that, and uh, it's that simple. Uh, and of course, if you wanted to go the, the other way, maybe somebody else will do another video on that. But uh, that's it. That that is all you have to do. It's that simple to switch over from uh, power brakes, power disc brakes to manual disc brakes. Okay, guys, I uh, hope that helps somebody. Later.